Taurus, welcome back. This is going to be a general read for you for September 7th to the 13th. We're going to look at your current energies, your desire, and the possible outcome. And we're going to also look at what's working for you and that what you need to be aware of. Keep in mind this is a general read. It may not resonate with everybody. And if it doesn't, that's okay. So let's get right into this and see what's going on for you. Taurus. Off the get-go, we have the Eight of Swords. Hmm, might be experiencing a little indecision. We have the Ace of Wands. We might be experiencing a little indecision with regards to starting something new. What is working for you is the Magician. What you need to be aware of is the Five of Cups. And the outcome is this Knight of Cups. So it seems to me off the get-go, you might be a little scared to make a decision. Keep in mind that not making a decision is still a decision. Uh, about an offer that could be coming your way, this offer may have you uh, feeling a little unsure of yourself, a little worried about getting left out in the cold. But I see this Knight of Cups as this could actually be an offer of love that's coming in for you. Uh, there could be some type of uh, romance is stepping your way. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go through and clarify each one of these cards just to get a better picture as to what this story is. So, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Fool. And I see this as, with this Page of Wands energy, it can be, uh, you've got good news that's coming through with work. We've got the Queen of Swords energy, which is to me is, you know what, you may really need to use your intellect uh, in order to take advantage of a new opportunity that's coming for you. Or this might be along the lines of, there's some good news coming in about work. You're going to really need to use your intellect uh, in order to um, make a major choice in life. Now we have this Ace of Wands, and this is in your desires. So what is this Ace of Wands for Taurus, please? We have the Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. So although there's this new offer that's coming in for you, Taurus, we can see that you're going to really start to need to take action with this Queen of Wands here. Um, you could be very busy uh, but it looks also like you're holding on to um, or you're overly cautious about losing in any way and that's creating some indecision for you with this two of swords this four of pentacles is like oh my god what do i do which choice do i make um, and then it's like oh you know i'm too scared to lose sometimes uh, it's easier when you've got nothing to lose and realistically is it actually a loss or is it a perceived loss? And that Two of Swords energy is just that indecision where you really need to sit down and look at this. And that sort of ties in with what we've, your current energy of the Fool, um, needing to make this choice. Now we have the Knight of Cups, and I want to find out what this Knight of Cups is for you. Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups. And the Hierophant, which is your own energy, we have this Ten of Pentacles, so somebody that is really uh, thinking about, uh, or that somebody that's being really emotional about the uh, their life with respect to prosperity, um, money, and how they're feeling about how they see uh, or feel about themselves. So this King of Cups and this Hierophant, this could also be that uh, the outcome is is that you're feeling pretty solid in the, in this possible new start. Uh, you have the King of Cups here that's saying, "Hey, you know what? Maybe this this Knight of Cups is actually a love offer, and this is a pretty good offer that may be leading to marriage." There's a couple of different ways that we can read that Hierophant card. It can be your energy, or that there's going to be somebody that's going to come in and sort of guide you over the next little bit as to, uh, or provide some insight and help for you. We have the Magician, and the Magician is here working for you. 
Now, to me, that it says, you know what, you've got all the tools. You know, you look at this Four of Pentacles, you're like, oh, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose. But we've got the Magician here saying, hey, you know what, you've got everything you need. So let's clarify. Seven of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So we could say that the Queen of Pentacles is sort of the female side of the King of Pentacles. So I look at this and go, it seems like you've got a lot of internal conflict about which path to take in order to make yourself successful. Now what's working against you, uh, or you need to be aware of, is this uh, Five of Pentacles energy. And that's the energy of like, geez, I'm going to get left out in the cold here. I'm not going to be left with anything. Um, so let's clarify that. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So although you're worried about, you know, where is this going to go? Where is everything going to go? Um, how is this going to turn out? I see the Ace of Pentacles as you've got a new start. And that's a new start financially, uh, in business, or a new job that's coming. We have this Ace of Cups. And that Ace of Cups to me is still this love offer that's tied up with this uh, Knight of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Cups, which is you walking, possibly choosing a different path and leaving something behind. Now, that can all be scary, uh, but at the upside, what happens if it turns out really, really great? So if I read this across this way, it looks like there's a new beginning for you for work. It looks like you've got a new beginning in love. It's got you walking away and choosing a different path one where you're taking action to let go of the things that you used to hold on to and that fear of loss. Although you're a little scared to make that decision, that decision to me is mostly internal. This is sort of you sort of fighting in, to me uh, inside, defending sort of old beliefs and old habits. We have the two of wands, which is stepping into this initial accomplishment and possible partnership. Uh, stepping up into this Queen of Pentacles energy where you've got this lady and this energy that, you know what, you're kind of self-sufficient. I want to pull three more cards for you, Taurus. Um, just for any further advice around this week for you. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Moon. You're working on creating um, your wealth. You can see this little guy or a little individual here uh, is working on creating his pentacles, creating that which gives him uh, joy and security. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is further um, saying, hey, you know what, there's going to be a positive outcome with this. And the moon is here saying, hey, you know what, not everything, um, or you might be feeling a lot of uncertainty around that. And so keep working on what you're doing. It looks like you've got a fairly positive outcome here with this Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, uh, and the clarification around that. Um, best of luck this week, Taurus. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, I'm glad you stopped by. And hopefully uh, this has provided some sort of insight for you. And best of luck this week, Taurus.